Oles Malyarevich, Deputy Commander with the 92nd Brigade's Achilles Battalion of Ukraine, reports intense fighting in the settlement of Lybok with Ukraine's armed forces holding the upper hand. He shared this on Espresso TV. We're continuing our operations in the Strelecha, Lybok, Lipsy direction in the Kharkiv region. Right now, there's heavy fighting in Lybok, but the momentum is fully in our favor. Our mission is to liberate Lybok. The Russian forces are desperately holding onto every house, every dugout, pulling in reinforcements wherever they can. They're throwing in their reserves, but since these are small infantry units, they can always be reinforced by nearby troops, Malyarevich explained. According to him, the Russians realize that the border is just seven kilometers from Lybok. If they lose Lybok, they'll retreat to Strelecha, which sits right on the border. This means they'll lose what they captured in May, and the situation could unfold similarly to what's happening in the Kursk region. The deputy commander also mentioned that Russian forces have started shifting some of their reserves from the Kharkiv direction to the Kursk region. This is noticeable on the front line. We've seen a drop in the number of guided aerial bombs. We're seizing this window of opportunity to strengthen our position, Malyarevich noted. The Russians have understood the purpose of the diversionary maneuver in the Kursk region and have not moved their forces from the Pokrovsk direction. On the contrary, they are only reinforcing this area. Perhaps in a week or two, we will see the first battles for the city of Pokrovsk. The Russians are advancing. If they were 50 kilometers away from Pokrovsk in winter, they have now almost reached the city, noted Ivan Stupak, a Ukrainian military expert. According to the military expert, there are questions to the local authorities of Pokrovsk. These issues were first voiced by the military. They observe that in Pokrovsk, the same pattern is repeating as in Bakhmut, Solidar, Avdiivka, Marinka and other cities. Instead of building fortifications, funds were spent on city improvements. As a result, the Russians are getting closer. Stupak emphasized. Typhoon Shanshan made landfall on Japan's southwestern main island of Kyushu, the weather agency said, bringing heavy rain and strong winds that left at least 40 people injured in three prefectures. At least one person is missing. The Japan Meteorological Agency urged residents in affected areas to remain on high alert for natural disasters, while public transport operators canceled trains and flights, and some homes were left without power as the storm advanced. Bullet train services suspended and major companies like automaker Toyota have closed factories. Other major car manufacturers have followed suit, according to the Kyoto News Agency. Japanese authorities on Thursday warned that a life-threatening situation was imminent for towns in Kyushu's Oita prefecture and urged 57,000 people to take live-saving actions as it issued its highest typhoon alert. A level 4 evacuation advisory, the second highest alert, is in place for all of Kyushu, affecting 3.7 million residents. A rare special typhoon warning issued for most parts of Kagoshima Prefecture was downgraded after the typhoon made landfall. Three members of a family died after a landslide buried a house in the central city of Gamagori, Kyoto reported, citing local government officials. The victims included a couple in their 70s and a son in his 30s, while two adult daughters in their 40s were injured, Kyoto added. The warnings indicate the possibility that a major disaster prompted by the typhoon is extremely high, Satoshi Sugimoto, chief forecaster of the meteorological agency, told. Shanshan comes in the wake of Typhoon Ampil, which disrupted hundreds of flights and trains this month. Despite dumping heavy rain, it caused only minor injuries and damage. Ampo came days after Tropical Storm Maria brought record rains to northern areas. very localized phenomena that's going on purely due to the volcano. When these gusts hit, they are very 